Intro. Hello and welcome to our video on the Denisovans, a mysterious and extinct group of hominids that once roamed the Earth. In this video, we will be exploring new discoveries and unanswered questions about the Denisovans, including recent findings from Siberia's Denisova Cave, where the first Denisovan fossil was discovered. We will also delve into what we know about their evolutionary history and identity, and the genetic legacy they left behind in modern humans. Part 1, Denisovan Discoveries In August 2016, paleoanthropologist Benz Viola and his team made a groundbreaking discovery in Siberia's Denisova Cave. They found a skull fragment that was identified as Denisovan, a rare and mysterious group of hominids. This find joins only a handful of fragmentary fossils from these hominids, making it an incredibly significant discovery. However, little is still known about the Denisovans. It's long been unclear if they belong to a distinct homo species, and the new evidence is still not enough to resolve that mystery. Researchers are now trying to answer questions about these enigmatic hominids, including how recently they existed and what their evolutionary history might be. Part 2. Evolutionary History and Identity Viola and his colleagues compared a digital reconstruction of the skull fragment with corresponding parts of 112 present-day human skulls and 30 Stone Age homo skulls, including Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. The Denisovan find didn't fit neatly into any previously known homo species. Some features linked the Denisovan fossil to Neanderthals and to a 430,000-year-old Spanish homo species that had Denisovan ancestry. Such evidence is tough to interpret at this point, as interbreeding of closely related populations, such as Denisovans, Neanderthals, and H. sapiens, generates novel skeletal features that can obscure what started out as a distinctive Denisovan look. Part 3. Genetic legacy At least three separate Denisovan populations interbred with ancient humans, and genetic remnants of two of those populations appear in modern Aboriginal groups in Papua New Guinea. People on Papua New Guinea interbred with one genetically distinct Denisovan population around 46,000 years ago. Interbreeding with a second line of Denisovans took place by about 30,000 years ago and possibly as recently as 15,000 years ago. The team probed about 3,000 DNA samples, obtained from around 100 communities on Papua New Guinea and other Southeast Asian islands, for molecular signs of interbreeding with Denisovans. The new DNA analyses suggest that some now living on Papua New Guinea and nearby islands carry roughly 400 Denisovan genes involved in immune and dietary functions. Denisovan DNA previously identified in present-day Siberians, East Asians, and Native Americans does not occur in island Southeast Asia and thus represents a third Denisovan line, the researchers found. Part 4. Unanswered questions Despite these new discoveries, many unanswered questions remain about the Denisovans. We still don't know what they looked like or how they lived, and it's unclear whether they were a separate species or a subspecies of Homo sapiens. Interbreeding between Denisovans, Neanderthals, and H. sapiens further complicates our understanding of their evolutionary history and identity. Moreover, ongoing DNA studies of people in the Philippines could uncover further Denisovan populations. As such, it's an exciting time for researchers studying the Denisovans as new discoveries could be just around the corner. Please join our YouTube channel Wild and Free Exploration next time as we explore.